In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract comments and usernames in Excel. So the reason why I'm making this video because someone asked from the video that I made about extracting comments. He's asking if he can also extract usernames. So that's what we are going to do in this video. Extract both comments and usernames in Excel. Okay, so I have the step-by-step -step procedure here. So first step is right-click, should be right-click on the sheet and select view code. So right-click on the sheet and select view code. And then, oops, let me find the steps. And then right-click on your sheet and select insert then module. Okay, right-click on the sheet insert module and then copy i mean paste the vba code below so this code vba code will not just extract the comments but also extract the usernames as well as well okay paste that in there save and then save your excel file as a macro enabled file Okay, let me do that. So exit, exit, let me save again, just to make sure. And then save this as a uh, macro, where's that, macro enabled file. Save this as macro enabled file, desktop. So as you can see, I already have this file as saved, but for the, I mean, this file saved as a macro enabled file, but for the sake of completeness, I'm going to do it again. So replace it. Okay, now we can, going back to the step, now we can type the following. Next to the cell you want, you want the comment and username extracted. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So in this case, we have the comments in column A. So first comment, second comment, and of course, including the user. Uh, in this case, I'm not logged into Microsoft, so that's why we only see user, but this will also extract the username if you are logged into the, to Microsoft. And row, I mean, line three does not have any comment, and line four, there's another comment. So if I, Actually, I can just type get comment details and then highlight, I mean, select the cell where the comment is located and then enter. Now you can just drag all the way to the cell that has comments. So as you can see, I have the author or username and then I have the, you know, comment and the username and the comments. So again, author user and the comment. So the comment is user and username and the comment. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.